Hello again. In this video, we are going to show you how to draw body plots. A body plot is one of the two ways to plot frequency response graphically. In drawing body plots, we use a semi-log graph, a special kind of graph paper that plots frequency in multitudes of tens versus magnitude in decibels or phase in degrees. There are two components of a complete body plot, a magnitude diagram and a phase diagram. Let's have a look at both of these components. The first one is the magnitude diagram. From the basics of control system lectures, we have learned that a transfer function has poles in the denominator and zeros in the numerator. Poles cause the system response to be infinite, while zeros may cause the system response to be null or zero. There are two main things to remember when drawing the magnitude diagram of a body plot. The first one is that poles of a transfer function will cause the magnitude diagram to fall 20 decibels per decade, while zeros of a transfer function will cause the magnitude diagram to rise 20 decibels per decade. There are also two things to remember when drawing the phase diagram of a body plot. The first one is that poles of a transfer function causes the phase to shift minus 90 degrees every two decades, starting from one decade before the pole to one decade after the pole. Zeros of a transfer function causes the phase to shift positive 90 degrees per two decades, starting from one decade before the zero to one decade after the zero. Let's jump straight into the four basic forms of a body plot. The first one, is for the transfer function g of s equals s, or it only has a zero at the origin and no poles. The magnitude plot will be continuously rising 20 decibels per decade, but at the frequency of one radians per second. The magnitude will always be zero decibels. The plot will look something like this. And for the phase diagram, because the transfer function only has a single zero on the origin, the phase diagram will be constant at 90 degrees. The plot will look something like this. The second form is g of s is equal to 1 over s, or it only has a pole at the origin and no zeros. The magnitude plot will continuously fall 20 decibels per decade, but at the frequency of 1 radius per second, the magnitude will always be 0 decibels. The plot will look something like this. And for the phase, because the transfer function only has a single pole on the origin, the phase diagram will be constant at minus 90 degrees. The plot will look like this. And the third one is for the transfer function g of s is equal to s plus a. It has a 0 and a constant a. To find the starting point on the magnitude diagram, 20 times log a is used. And since the transfer function only has a zero and no poles, then when the frequency hits a, a corner frequency, the plot rises 20 decibels per decade. Therefore, the plot will look like this. To draw the phase diagram, we start at zero degrees. Then since the transfer function has a zero, the plot will rise 90 degrees per two decades from the frequency of 0.1 times a to 10 times a, then we'll flatten again. The plot will look like this. And the fourth one is g of s equals to 1 over s plus a. Like before, to find the starting point of the magnitude plot, 20 times log a is used. And since the transfer function only has a pole and no zeros, then when the frequency hits a, a corner frequency, the plot falls 20 decibels per decade. Therefore, the plot will look like this. To draw the phase diagram, we start at 0 degrees. Then since the transfer function has a pole, then the plot will fall 90 degrees per two decades. From the frequency of 0.1 times a to 10 times a, and then flatten again. The plot will look like this. After learning the basics of forming a body plot, now we dive at where it could get quite complex. Say we are given a complex number transfer function to plot in a body plot in the following example. 
g of s is equal to k s plus 3 over s s plus 1 times s plus 2. First, we are going to form the magnitude diagram. As in the previous section of finding frequency response of a transfer function, we first change the transfer function of g of s into g j omega, where g j omega is k j omega plus 3 over j omega j omega plus 1 j omega plus 2. Change the j omega form to something like this. j omega plus a is equal to a j omega over a plus 1. Therefore, it becomes g j omega is equal to k times 3 j omega over 3 plus 1 over j omega times j omega plus 1 times 2 times j omega over 2 plus 2. Rearrange the equation to become something like this. g j omega is equal to 3 over 2 k j omega over 3 plus 1 over j omega times j omega plus 1 times j omega over 2 plus 2. We now will turn our transfer function into a logarithmic equation, making the numerator positive and the denominator negative. We will get something like this. After getting the logarithmic equation, then the last thing to do is to plot the Bode diagram by inserting the values of omega or our desired frequencies. Usually we'd start at omega is equal to 1, then omega is equal to 10, then 100, and so on. For the phase diagram, there are two things to remember when drawing a phase plot, which are, if there is a zero at the origin, the phase gets added up by 90 degrees. And if there is a pole at the origin, then the phase is subtracted by 90 degrees. We have already changed the g of s into g j omega from our magnitude part, so let's take it from here. We now take the arctangent of the equation, noting that a zero at the origin equals plus 90 degrees, and a pole at the origin equals minus 90 degrees. Ignoring the gain and straight to the j omega parts, we now get the equation to be phi is equal to minus 90 degrees plus arctangent of j omega over 3 minus arctangent of omega minus arctangent of j omega over 2. After getting the phase equation, then the last thing to do is to plot the Bode diagram by inserting the values of omega of our desired frequencies by inserting the values of omega or our desired frequencies. Usually, we start at omega is equal to 1, then omega is equal to 10, omega is equal to 100, and so on. That is it for the basics of body plots. See you next time.